Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, my name is Paul, and on this channel, I like to go over things that I am curious about and things that I've looked into, I like to share. So today's video, I wanted to talk about NFTs and why I think that they will be a game changer. Um, so first and foremost, I am obviously not an expert on it, but I wanted to share my two cents and hear y'all's um, comments and opinions on this just in general. Um, so if you have no idea what I mean when I say an NFT, an NFT stands for a non-fungible token. And this is used in reference to digital art uh, that is created by very famous people or by every everyday ordinary people. The reason why I think, I'll go into the reason why I think that this is going to be a game changer and talk about some of the problems as well uh, that I could potentially see with it, but it, that I don't think are going to be too big of a problem. So if we think about the reason why an NFT in general is going to be a game changer when it comes to this digital art, what the internet did for the common person was allow the common person to build a brand around themselves and, if you will, become a celebrity uh, by the will of the people rather than by the will of the middleman. And the middleman or the gatekeepers before would deem you worthy or not worthy of being in front of the camera. Now, with the internet and with these uh, phones and everything that we have, we can just click record and uh, upload. And if enough people like it, we get to have celebrity status or um, business deals that come with it and whatnot. So if the internet did that, one of the things that the NFT will do for the common individual is allow their, whoever their, if you want to call them fans, followers, whatever you want to call them, it will allow the fans and followers to buy and even further adopt and be a super fan or whatever you want to call it of the individual person. No longer is there going to be, it's almost going to be another layer in this community that people are going to be building. Like if we think about anything in relation to uh, very popular movies and all the stuff that all the artwork and uh, all the collectibles that have come out, like with Star Wars, for example, I know that there's a lot of collectors with um, things in relation to Star Wars, and we can even go through a list of other movies. If we now have NFTs and we're moving into a digital age where if you go out in public, more people are on their phone, the phone is more of a reality for a lot of people than the world around them. The, the, the world that we are living in on the phone is significantly more of a reality than what most people are currently living in. Some people just stay in their rooms all day and their reality is what's on their phone. We're ordering stuff from our phone, we're driving, you know, order, all this stuff is going to be from our phone. And so if we were to think about, okay, there's another level now that uh, whoever I'm a fan or a follower of is going to produce some artwork that I can now claim this, I can now buy this and have it be authenticated by a ledger, that, that is going to be another layer of connection and opportunity to support um, and connect with your audience and the people that you're following with. And I, I, I just think that this is going to be an absolute game changer in the same way that the internet was um, for the everyday person. Now, the everyday person who has built a brand uh, can use this digital artwork to almost create another level in the game of this community. And it can have, I mean, who knows, who knows what this is going to have an effect on in literally a hundred or 200 years from now. Like, let's say, take Oprah. Like, let's say she comes out with some NFTs. Who knows what an original Oprah NFT will be worth to someone 200 years from now who they're doing research on Oprah and see, you know, how much she's done for people. You know, it, it, that's just kind of where I'm going with it. Who knows with this individual artwork now, you don't have to be a, a crazy artist. Now you're literally just uploading digital art and that can be whatever you want it to be, frankly. And same thing like with sports cards, all these other things. If these things are already taking place and this is in the physical world, um, we're only going to go more digital. I seriously think these collectibles and this artwork that everyday people are going to be producing. It can be a GIF, it can be a video, it can be a picture, whatever you want. And this can be art that's now held up by 
this blockchain technology. I, I just think this is I just think this is really cool. Anyways, um, now let's get into some of the challenges with it. Yes, I think you're going to have people ripping ripping a lot of people off in terms of getting screenshots of these things because there's nothing stopping anyone from taking a screenshot from a simple uh, picture, which is digital art. But there is value. I don't think that's going to be a problem because I think even with the artwork nowadays, you have websites that, that sell plenty of paintings uh, that copy the original one. People can print it off and, and hang the painting up in their in their house but it's not the original one, so it's not gonna be worth the same value. Sure, they had the picture there, but it's not the same value as the original one. I think you're gonna have the same thing with the digital art. Uh, you're gonna have plenty of people who take screenshots, screen record, etc. But if you don't have the authentication for the ledger, you know, yours is not gonna be as uh, valuable. And obviously some people are gonna get ripped off by, by falling for those and whatnot. But I think this is something to think about. I know very little so far, but from the little that I do know, it does seem to me that if all these things are already taking place in the physical world that people didn't think would happen, you know, it's alternative investing really with, with the art, with the cards and collectibles, it's absolutely going to happen with NFTs because we're only going more digital. We're not going less digital. Anyways, that's my two cents on it as of right now. That's uh, pretty much the gist of what I know. So if you know anything about them, uh, let me know uh, what you think of them, what you think they're going to do. Is it kind of just like uh, here now, but it's going to be gone tomorrow? Or if you think it's here to stay, uh, let me know all of that down in the comments below, and I will see you guys in the next one.